to Rachel Wells. The one thing I have never regretted is independence. I began to yearn for it when I was a child. When I was eight years old, I lived with two cold gray aunts in a cold gray house. My mother died when I was two. My father. My father was a champagne salesman, and he was exactly like his product. Just as irresistible, and if you're poor, just as hard to find. I adored him, and I lived for his occasional visit. Six weeks before my first communion, he came for the afternoon. I pleaded with him to take me away with him. But Catherine, where would I take you? I live nowhere. I travel. But I'll not be away a year this time. I will be back in seven weeks for your communion. Six? Even better. And you'll not wear that hideous bedspread your aunts made for you. I'm going to buy you a communion dress fit for a princess. Could it be red? <laughs> a red communion dress? Well, why not? Take me with you, Papa. Now, not next time, Catherine. After your communion, then we'll both go away and be happy forever. Take me with you, Papa. Just keep thinking about that bright red communion dress. Catherine, dream away a little, lay a little. Pray a little, make the hours fly. Father. Till we meet, Katie sweet, goodbye. And I never saw him again. The one thing that I have learned about independence is that you have to live by all of your own rules. And I tell myself each and every day, who the devil cares what a woman wears? Is it worth a stitch ending up a witch in a golden shell? One is as one does, and by God it was life was as it had to be. It was not too bad to be always mademoiselle. Right or wrong, I'm glad to be just myself.